If there was one Thai-inspired fast food dish, it would have to be Pad Siu. Essentially, it's fried noodles with lots of yummy sauce. So with mine, you can change the different proteins, but I'm going to be using some pork fillet. And for this, it's all about a fast fry in a wok. So I've got a really large non-stick wok on the heat. You want it to be really hot. The bigger the wok, the better, because it allows everything to fry quickly and evenly. So get that hot. So while that's heating up, let's get Get on to making a really quick marinade for our pork. So into a bowl, I'll add a generous pinch of white pepper, along with some light soy sauce, just about a tablespoon, and then a good splash of sesame oil. Okay, give that a quick stir. And you don't need to marinate this overnight. It's just for a few moments. Because I'm going to be cutting this pork quite thin, it doesn't need long at all. That smells fantastic. So onto the pork. Now this is a beautiful pork fillet. For four people, you honestly need one pork fillet, not even. Because we're gonna add lots of noodles, it is based around the noodles. You don't need too much protein. Nice sharp knife, and you can see that I'm just cutting it as thin as I can. I love pork fillet for this recipe, but you could also use some pork belly, cutting it very thin, it'll just be slightly fattier. You could even use some beef for this, so I would use some rump steak. You'd need about 180 to 200 grams and doing exactly what I'm doing here, which is thinly slicing so it cooks in no time. Okay, now this goes into our marinade and we're just gonna coat it so every little piece of pork is coated in those flavours. So just fold that through and you can see that it's not swimming in the marinade, you just want it to coat like that. Now before we start cooking this, we can get other things ready. So a little bit of chilli, I'm just gonna cut on the same board as the pork because it's going to be fried together. And I'm going to leave the seeds in, so a little bit of heat, and then just finely slice it. If you don't want the heat, simply take out the seeds. But in general, these long red chilies are not piping hot. But always, with chilli, have a little tiny taste just to check out the heat. Okay, let's start frying. So some vegetable oil. A good splash. I know that this 36 centimetre wok is hot and ready to go because of this nifty little thermo signal. See how that's solid red? That means it's at the optimum heat to start frying. So we're just going to drizzle that oil around the pan and in goes the pork. Now usually you want to do this in batches but because this wok is so large we can do it all in one go. But just make sure that you separate it and then leave it for a moment before you start tossing it so we get a nice caramelisation on that. While that's cooking, we can add our chilli, sprinkle that in, and lots of garlic. So two cloves of garlic that are finely chopped and we'll prepare one egg. So in this dish, I do like some egg in it too and you need one, we'll break it and just give it a quick whisk. looking good and now we can give this a toss so I'll just toss with my tongs first but to really get that moving I like to give it a toss naturally and look at that look at those beautiful caramelized bits on the pork and the best thing about non-stick is nothing is sticking it's gonna make it so much easier to clean later on now that's looking good to me so let's just pop it to one side scraping as much of the garlic out of the way as possible so we can fry this omelette. So in with the egg. And you just want it to set for a moment. So you can almost fold it over onto itself, then break it up into big chunks. And then at least we can define that throughout the dish later on. Okay, that's looking good. I'm going to remove the meat and the egg, pop it into a bowl. Look at that, just slides out. And then we're going to reheat this. Now, because it's all about the fried noodles, we need a little more oil. And just wait for that to heat up before you add the noodles. So into a bowl, I'll add some oyster sauce, a few spoonfuls of that, along with some dark soy this time, just to give it that sweet molasses-like flavor. It's gonna be quite rich too. 
some vinegar to balance it, classic white vinegar, and of course, some sugar. And I might just finish off that dark soy because I like this to be quite saucy. Okay, that's ready. And then the choy sum. Now, the leaves take no time at all to cook. So what I recommend is just giving these a really good wash and then just slicing into two centimetre pieces the stalks. We'll add the stalks first and then at the very last minute, we'll add these leaves just to wilt. You don't want to add them too soon because such a shame they will break down too much. So or just like spinach, We'll just wilt them at the very last minute. So we'll put them in two separate piles and let's get frying. That is piping hot. So we'll add our noodles. These are rice noodles and you'll notice that they're flat and wide. That's very distinct of a Patsyu stir fry. In they go. Just give that a few moments just to start to get crispy and then the toss. Oh yes, yeah. see that? The colour, that's what we're after. Separate them and then you can keep tossing them just so it's completely coated in the oil. I'll add the choy sum stalks and in with our sauce, one extra whisk and then we'll just drizzle that over. See how thick and rich that is? That's what we're after and it's going to start staining those rice noodles. So we're going to toss that and allow it to reduce slightly. Separate the noodles and they have been cooked, so they really just need to be heated up and they need to absorb all that beautiful flavour. Now we can return our pork, any juices in there, and the egg. And again, giving that a toss. Oh, beautiful. And finally, all of these leafy tops can go in and then we'll just bring all the noodles to the top just so it wilts the choice some top. This is why I love to invest in a huge wok. See how everything is cooking together. It's sliding around nicely and it cooks in no time. Get some of the noodles and that egg there. Oh, I love the colours and the little speckles of chilli. And that is my version of Pad Siu. That is so fresh, so delicious and inexpensive. It's faster to make this from scratch than picking up the phone and ordering it from a takeaway shop. Mm -hmm.